let's go. Let's be honest. Who's up next? Tesla is the next NVIDIA. You don't have to believe me, but come on. Take a ride with me. Much respects, Kahans. Let's get into it. Make these bots based on the quality of the AI over that period of time. I know that Elon is extremely optimistic on the capabilities of AI over the next five years. It's interesting for me because the setup, the similarity with NVIDIA actually is very interesting. NVIDIA sold its first AI computer to OpenAI in 2016. Elon was there. There's a picture of Jensen with Elon on that delivery. So let's get it, let's get it quite clear. When NVIDIA actually came out, Elon was there every step of the way. Elon believed in so much when it came to NVIDIA's products, that he was always there on OpenAI. You know, chat GPT. That's what you probably guys know it from. So net net at the end of the day, Elon has always been on the forefront with the CEO of NVIDIA about what? The AI revolution. So it's nothing new. These guys have been together. And also the CEO, Jen, has been saying for the longest that Tesla is a big play on artificial intelligence, but nobody's listening. Everybody's worried about the shovels and the picks, but they're not worried about the gold mine. So Tesla's the gold mine and NVIDIA is the shovels. From then on, NVIDIA, Jensen started talking more and more about AI. No one listened. No one believed them. In late 2022, NVIDIA's main business, the gaming business, suffered a downturn and the stock was destroyed. I think it was down 60% or something from its eye. Still, no one listened. And to me, the setup is very similar to, to Tesla. Now, let's pause it right there because that's a very interesting perspective that you often don't hear. NVIDIA was mostly focused on gaming, GPU, right? Graphic processing unit. It was mostly focused on consoles and it wasn't doing very well. And most people did not see at least the semiconductor chips from NVIDIA being applicable to its artificial intelligence. Only a couple picked up on this and it wasn't until late in the game where actually big institutions and just the general media finally understood with things like chat gpt oh nvidia is a good play on artificial intelligence and then now all of a sudden you see the exponential growth happening in nvidia but when it came down to its primary business which was graphics processing units for gaming consoles it wasn't doing the best and this is the same story that happens with also EVs and Tesla. Most people are constantly focusing on the EV, 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 and not paying attention to the AI play. Of course, I understand. Don't pay attention. Leave it up to me because I'm going to pay attention, invest before the boom, before everybody else gets it. The same way that those people who understood the semiconductors that were being offered by NVIDIA we're going to corner the market. Let's continue. Just as the gaming business no longer matters really to NVIDIA, the auto delivery business will soon no longer matter to... Oh my gosh, people can't believe that one. You mean the actual auto business will no longer be valid for Elon and Tesla? That's impossible. Okay, the same way that it was impossible for NVIDIA to make a shift like they did the same way it was impossible for Amazon to stop selling books and start selling AWS, stop selling retail products, and then focus on AWS. When most people said, what are you doing? You sell books. What are you doing? You sell consumer products. You sell onesies. You sell bibs. You sell whatever, shoes. That's what you do, Amazon. Why are you involved in AWS? And AWS is one of the most important segments from Amazon today. Come on now. No one is listening. No one is paying attention. But like Jensen, Elon is saying the same things. And you know what? They're writing exactly the same wave. The wave just hit NVIDIA first. That this AI wave that is powering NVIDIA now to these crazy heights that people can barely understand is going to hit Tesla as well at some point. I, I can't predict when. I can't predict when. But we can see RoboTaxi coming and we can see bots coming. And it's likely to start. The wave is likely to start being visible within the next couple of years, in my opinion, for both of them. And just to yeah. build on CERN's point a little bit, the one of the things that I've been saying recently is that it, NVIDIA is pursuing the platform play for AI. They're trying to provide the picks and shovels that allow other people to build these AI tools. Now, again, there you go. NVIDIA is providing the tools that are going to be utilized for artificial intelligence. And so people are just focused on that and think that's the most important thing. But you can name the gold company 
but you can't name the companies that sell the tools so that gold companies can mechanize. Now, let me give you another example instead of that outdated example. Let me give you an example of Apple. Everybody has heard about Apple or TSMC, right? But have you heard of ASML? Most people have not. And they sell the machinery that's necessary to make the semiconducting chips. And they actually corner the market quite well. But most people don't know nothing about them. Now, you have all of these semiconducting companies like NVIDIA, <laughs> which is a further down the stream when it comes down to semiconductors, just like Tesla is going to be further downstream when it comes down to the tools and equipment that are needed, like NVIDIA, to leverage artificial intelligence. Guys, again, you're going to have to get, get plugged in because you are out of the loop if you're listening to financial media. Well, we've seen that play out before a number of times as well. And usually those picks and shovels providers, they do very well. But this is another Chamath Palahapatiya point that the things that successfully build products and services on top of those platforms create even more value than the platform itself does. And by necessity, they have to. The platform can't take up 100% of the value that's created on top of them. Otherwise, the things that are created on top of them are pointless. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's how it works, right? The people who dig out gold doesn't make as much, or let's say the diamond mine doesn't make as much as the people who sell the diamonds on the retail. So further downstream is the added value. The added value is mostly complicated, but it is hard to build out an event and innovate so it could be actually consumed by the customer. But the same thing, that was a perfect example that he just gave. The people further downstream are really going to reap the benefits. It's not like NVIDIA is not going to do good. I mean, this is the same thing as ASML. They do great for themselves. TSMC do great for themselves, but Apple really makes the money. Um, and so the markets that Elon and Tesla are pursuing are those things that are built on top of artificial intelligence that are bigger opportunities, they're bigger markets, they're bigger TAMs than the opportunity that NVIDIA is pursuing now. And so when Tesla is able to execute on those markets. They're going to make what NVIDIA's run today that looks so huge, it's gonna make that look like small potatoes. The, the, the big thing that I think people have not registered in their brains is that car business and the future robotaxi AI business are very, very different business models. We are talking about recurring high margin revenue. <laughs> recurring high margin revenue. Look at what Tesla has been able to do with just not reoccurring revenue like selling cars and the margins which are not high but they're high in that industry but not high as artificial intelligence would be shoot our energy department is banging out around 30 percent plus okay and that's being conservative now when we're talking about the software side of artificial intelligence whether it's robo taxi or optimus we're talking about ridiculous margins and this is what the cars do not have, but it's completely fine. We're going to serve the customers with more products and more services. So if you sell a car today, sir, and you got this all mapped out, right? You're going to make $7,000, $10,000, $15,000 of profit one time, then you're done. Next year, you have to sell a brand new car to make $7,000, $10,000, $15,000 of revenue. When you sell one bot every single year, you're going to make, right? And this is the big number. Scott CERN has modeled out some high number like 90 grand per year. But let's say even if it's 10 grand, let's assume it's this tiny little 10 grand, but it's every single year. Every bot you make will make that. And CERN pointed out a little bit earlier. You could actually see a future where you'll start charging more because the bots get smarter, more valuable. It's just a software update. All of a sudden they got new tasks and you might charge per task. This is it's just unheard of as opposed to, you know, um, yeah, I, I'm not, can you think of anything else that is like recurring revenue that is this amount of money? We're talking about 10 to 100 grand per year per item that you sell. <laughs> Perfect. He couldn't explain it more perfectly. Now, guys, I'm going to do a part two video of this, but I'm going to keep this one short. So this is part one. And this is part one of why Tesla is the next NVIDIA. I hope you guys tune in for the next one. Like, share, subscribe. But we already gave you the meat and potatoes. But in the next video, we're going to give you more details about why this is so exciting, guys. Hold on. Let me hit you with this because I don't want no normies coming after me. Okay. This is not investment advice. All right, so do your own due diligence. But at the end of the day, we are winning. Shout outs to the Tesla team, the staff, the artificial intelligence team, the Optimus team, and Elon Musk for the win. Thanks, NVIDIA, for the great trips. And I'll see you guys on the next one.